Hey, Previews World, Troy Jeffrey Allen here, and I'm standing next to, you already know who this guy is, it's Mark Wade. Good seeing you, sir. <laughs> Good seeing you, too. So, we're at the Retailer Summit, and you just gave us a rundown of like all the stuff that's happening with humanoids, yeah. particularly H1. Yeah. But I want to know, first of all, before we even get into any of that, yeah. how did you come into this? They came knocking on my door. The the director of uh, marketing at that time was a good friend of mine named Judd Myers, mm -hmm. uh, who gave a hearty round of enthusiasm for these guys and said, mm -hmm. "You need because they." What's great about them is that a lot of publishers come in from outside the American market, mm -hmm. and they think they know how it all works. Right. Yeah. Uh, these guys are very receptive. They right. they basically just said to me, "Like we don't really know how the American market works. Uh, can you help guide us through that?" Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. You know, I've worked every angle of it, including owning a store. I know a few yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah right. uh, they brought me on as a consultant, and then the longer I'm, I've been there, the more I've been consulting. I really enjoy it there. Oh, perfect. That's yeah. awesome. So, what is your role specifically, just for those who don't know? Sure. Mm -hmm. It is Director of Creative Development. Mm -hmm. And what does that entail? Well, that's, that's what I asked, because <laughs> they, they said, you need a title. I said, I don't, I don't care. I said, I'm a Director of Creative Development. <laughs> right, that sounds good. Um, I look at all the incoming projects, mm -hmm. um, you know, get a chance to sign off on all the scripts, all the, you know, all of the non-visual stuff. I still give an opinion. I'll still go in there and give mm -hmm. an opinion on the pages, the art, the covers, or whatever. But mm -hmm. John Caste, who is also, you yeah. know, a big shot there, oh, yeah. is, uh, and doing that same consulting for an art side, mm -hmm. is the guy who looks at that kind of stuff. So it's that. It's also just kind of getting in the trenches and working with each individual issue of the comic to make sure it's as tight as it can possibly be, and all the things I've learned as an editor over the years, bringing that to the table. Uh, and then bringing in some new talent, you yeah. know, calling in some favors and, you know, and being able to just say, look, I, you don't know these guys, but you know me. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to let you down. All right, all right. Yeah. So what is the mission statement for each one? Like, what are you guys trying to accomplish here? What makes it different than all the other superhero lines? Right. Well, the first thought that we don't call it a superhero line, okay. which I like. Good. Not, mm -hmm. that, not that you wouldn't. No, but right, I, yeah. we, I mean, it, people have powers, yes, mm -hmm. but they're not all heroes. And I'm not even sure that it's fair to call them all heroes at all. Mm -hmm. um, but they're ordinary people, which that's what in, intrigued me because I like changing up my pitch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, I like superhero comics being very good to me, obviously. Mm -hmm. But I also like, you know, if it's Archie or Empire, or any of the things I've done over the years that's not straight superheroes. Mm -hmm. And this, when they came to me and said, well, we got Unique Paquette mm -hmm. and Kwanzaa OJ mm -hmm. and uh, Carlos B. McNeil had gotten together mm -hmm. as sort of brain trust to sort of dream up these books and the characters in the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and when they had something they felt was solid, they came to me okay. and said, you know, can you play? What can you do to help expand this? Do you want to write one of the books? Mm -hmm. And when they told me about their lead book, Ignited, I was on that like black on a bowling ball. Mm -hmm, yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. I really, mm -hmm. that is a personal book. No, oh, no, yeah, I love that. Can, like, can you tell people a little bit about that premise about yeah. Ignited as a concept? Sure. I mean, it's basically it's that something's going on in the world. Mm -hmm. That there's some there. We have reached a stress point in humanity. Mm -hmm. We've reached a breaking point, mm -hmm. and something is happening. And we'll get into that, you know, as the books progress. But okay. something is happening to spontaneously give human beings abilities. Not okay. all superpowers per se. Mm -hmm. Not they're all. None of them are fighting crime. There's no super villains to punch. Right. It's more, okay, you've got power. Now, how do you go affect change in the world when you're just one person with, with powers right, or two yeah, people yeah. with powers? What can you do to make a difference in this world? Mm -hmm. And that's really what it's about. And these people are working to, you know, we that we don't have the corporate overlords of Warner or Disney or whatever looking mm -hmm. over us, making sure that we don't get too real with our books. Right, yeah, yeah. We're, no, actually, we're encouraged. Like, no, you... If you want to deal with, if you want to deal with ice, call it ice. You mm -hmm. know, if you mm -hmm. want to deal with, you know, uh, Parkland, call it Parkland. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, and don't be afraid of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Okay. So definitely more like a, a you know, be into the whole man versus society, that sort of thing. Yeah, I mean, yeah. the only stories that you remember mm -hmm. are the ones that are dangerous. You know, yeah. are the ones that yeah. are that get your blood up. You know, mm -hmm. that aren't just the things you've seen over and over again. Right. And again. Superhero has been very, very good to me. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. not knocking. Mm -mm. But to be able to tell stories that have more of an edge to them mm -hmm. and a more contemporary feel to them, really talking about what's going on in the world today, yeah, yeah. that's really what excited me. No, absolutely. Yeah. And we're looking at this, this it sounds like it's going to be connected. It's like a, I know it's like a buzzword. But it is. It's, I know. Oh, wait, it's very, I was very, like, I was very careful to throw myself in that grenade and just mm -hmm. say, don't say, you know, new universe. Don't right, say yeah, that. Yeah, right. Because um, <laughs> right. it's what everybody does. So mm -hmm. we, it's a lot looser in our, in our company, in our, right. it's like loose uh, with these three books, a lot mm -hmm. looser of a, uh, and as the books go on, you'll see sort of little connections moving here or there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's, you know, it's not, it's not like you have to buy 
mm-hmm. all the books. If you want to buy one book, great. All right. Nice. So there is a definitely self-contained. Yeah, it's all self-contained. Okay, yeah, awesome. the characters don't know each other, okay. the, you know, or anything like that. So, right. yeah. That's beautiful. I love that. Right. Mark, thank you very much. Oh, my pleasure, man. Taking time, coming out of here, hanging Anytime. with us. Uh, this is Troy Jeffrey Allen. Be sure to support your local comic shop, and I will see you guys later.